Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. What up, everybody? This is Jason Lee, and this is Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. <laughs> and I'm Melissa Ford, a.k.a. The Curve Queen. And DJ Damage isn't there. Nah. <laughs> all right, so make sure you're streaming this on all of our platforms. Where are we at? We're on... iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, YouTube, iHeart. Yeah, and watch us over at YouTube. Mm -hmm. We're so many places, we don't even know where we're at. Exactly. Okay, so today we have Bernice Burgos coming in. I like Bernice. She's always nice to me. Yeah. We at this point, I like everybody who's nice to me. I know. You need security. Oh, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you something. And I look at who the security work with now. And if they work with people that I've talked about, I will not hire them. Okay. See, yeah, because they might just get caught slipping. Or right? just be a setup. I just don't <laughs> trust nobody. And I'm looking at Ubers. Uber drivers and Postmate people. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious that you have to look out for that shit. No, for real. Because if the... If there are people, they know me. So I'll be getting in the car. <laughs> Fuck you looking at. You want to know what my, my Uber name is? What? My Uber or uh, my Lyft name? What? Taylor. Why? I picked the whitest name I could think of. <laughs> yeah, when they pick you up, they're like, oh my God, I used to jack off to you. <laughs> no, they're so confused. They're like, Taylor? And I'm like, yep, Taylor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, listen, we're coming off of BET weekend. Mm -hmm. um, this is usually the biggest and most... Um, busiest week of the year for me, and I did almost absolutely nothing. Well, because you had the first annual social Hollywood Unlock Social Impact Awards. It was fun. It was so good. You were so worried, um, but for nothing, honestly. It was it was impressive. Um, not really. I chose, first of all, it was an amazing brunch. Those of you it that really don't was. know, just Google or go to our website, thehollywoodunlock.com, or check it out online. Go to my Instagram, because I'm posting every fucking photo that I like on that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But what I loved about it was, three years ago, I said I wanted to have this brunch. Mm -hmm. Much smaller vision for it. Mm -hmm. And once we got in it, it just started rolling. The team came together and it and it just became this really nice elevated experience. Shout out to Pretty Little Things, Limitless, and Ciroc, as well as Gentera, who stepped up to sponsor it. It cost a lot of money. Yeah. No, it looked expensive. <laughs> it, well, it, the bills are still coming. I mean, it, I walked in. I was like, whoa. Were you proud of me? I Extraordinarily. Like, I, I, I will even admit it exceeded... <laughs> far exceeded my expectations. It exceeded my expectations. It was really amazing. And then the turnout was, I was impressed. Let me say this. I really Melissa was. Ford is my rock, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to admit it. I stress over everything. I stress over, is there enough air in the room? Motherfucker, there's air. Like, what the fuck? How do you quantify whether there's enough air? But I will say, who has an award show that can honor a bunch of people that don't show up? It ha but see, that happens. That These happens. Fucking celebrities. Fucking. Uh, but you chose people. to honor some really big. You chose to honor honor Cardi and Floyd <laughs> and you know like these were these. Floyd was in fucking Dubai. You know what I okay, mean? Okay, for those of you listening who are like, yeah, nobody showed up to your brunch. No, there were a lot of people. There were a lot yeah. more people than I expected. Yeah. We had over a thousand RSVPs for 250 seats. We ended up bringing, letting 400 people in. Mm -hmm. But I will say, uh, okay, so I'm gonna go down the list. We ended, we wanted, of course, Floyd Mayweather because I mean he's been a big part of Hollywood Unlocked, and for this the first experience, I just thought, oh, we got to give him the Pioneer Award. Uh, he was stuck in Dubai. Sent me a text message between him and his pilot, where his pilot said. A drone was just shot down in Iran, so we don't need to be hijacked. We're staying. They're staying in Dubai because who get, stays in Dubai because they could be hijacked? I don't know. But I, that's actually true. It's, yeah. Cardi, the night before, ends up, uh, the grand jury or whatever indicts her on charges that I think personally are just, I think they're exaggerated at this mm -hmm. point. But she gets indicted the day before. And on top of all of that, she had BET performance mm -hmm. to get ready for which i've been to a couple of rehearsals in new york with mm -hmm. my team we stopped by and checked on her she did change the choreography but she was stressed over you know perfecting mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. and she had the experience to perform at, and she had fittings and so she was overwhelmed literally texting me pictures of updates mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tiffany was supposed to be on vacation tiffany haddish tiffany haddish mm -hmm. i'll be calling them tiffany like tiffany mm -hmm. I mean, we're on a first name basis but anyway mm -hmm. tiffany mm -hmm. haddish she was supposed to be on vacation in Miami, flew home to do it, but then got booked to do something at CBS or on one of the stages and literally could not get out. Mm -hmm. Who Nick Cannon. I don't even know where Nick was, but he was stuck in a car two and a half hours away. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, Karen Clark. Karen Clark sheared. What, this kind of touched my spirit. Her people said, we're so happy and we want to be there and we want to make it work, but she's she's older. And that just hit me like mm -hmm. she just can't do the hustle and bustle. Mm. You know, 
land in land in San Diego. Mm -hmm. She was in San Diego. Land in San Diego the day before. Rehearse with the band. Have rehearsal the next day. Leave. Mm -hmm. Get on a plane. Come to you. Then get in a car and drive back to San Diego. That was a lot for her. I'm in my early 40s. That, the, the moving is a lot for me, okay? Like, I well, can only imagine. Well, shout out to Char and <laughs> Mark Jacobs going to this love ball in New York tomorrow. I have mm -hmm. a 12 o'clock flight tonight, but I just, for 24-hour turnaround, I just, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not motivated to go. I'm not going. It's, 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 it's exhausting. It's a lot. It's wear and tear. I, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. But uh, it was, it's, it still went off without a hitch. Amber Riley performed. Who I love. I mean, she looked amazing. And she, she looked amazing, great. and her voice is literally a gift from God. I can listen to her sing the alphabet. Mary had a little lamb. I don't care. Like Amber Riley, I stand for this queen. Um, Avery blew the roof off the place, um, and then the the gospel group that you had. Who was that? That was just okay. So a friend of mine, Jason McGee. Mm -hmm who is over at Bishop Noel Jones Church, and he does all the music there. Mm -hmm. I called him and said, I need a choir together. He pulled a choir together. Were they amazing? They were phenomenal. <laughs> they were phenomenal. I saw Heathen sipping Ciroc <laughs> and dancing to, to Karen say. Clark's here. And I said, I know I brought the Lord in here. I was about to say, it felt like church up in there. It was, it was really, really, really fantastic. And Angela Yee was able to come to represent for the Breakfast Club. Um, I love Angela. I loved her speech too. I really, I loved her speech because she talked a lot about, um, you know, when her and I were at Sirius together and, you know, people assumed two women, they're going to hate each other. We loved each other on site and we've been friends ever since. I think it's like, what, 13 years at yeah. this point? You yeah. could tell that was really genuine when she said yeah. that. Yeah. And she was just like, it's ridiculous to just, you know, that men do not experience this. Women, we are constantly pit against each other with the with the assumption that we're going to hate each other. And it's just like, no, no, no. Well, no. I, I, There's room for all of us. And I appreciate her coming. Charlemagne, Charlemagne and I have been texting back and forth. And it's really great to see us honor them, them support us. Yeah. I've been on The Breakfast Club. You've been on there many yeah. times. And Charlemagne texted me yesterday and he said, I've been telling everybody you're up next, which is so crazy because I'm reading it like, you sure? Mm -hmm. And I ran into somebody, Van from TMZ, who's coming on the show soon, mm -hmm. who said that they had that conversation too. And it's just really great to start to see doors opening and mm -hmm. people start to say, oh, okay, we see it now. I mean, because we've, we've put in a lot of work. We and saw it from like what? Third, second, day, third episode? Day one. Yeah. Day one with Lunell when we were in there having a the conversation <laughs> that was crazy as hell. I still watch that episode I when she that. was telling me. I love that episode. When she was telling me to get off fucking Tinder. And here I am on Tinder. <laughs> Somebody slid in my DM today so damn fine from Atlanta. He's only 23, but he's so fucking beautiful and mature. And he plays volleyball. He's very athletic. And he's like pursuing me. And I'm just like Wait. very skeptical. Yeah, I, know. I would be too. And I said to him, it's not personal. I just. Let me see him. Well, You're going to have to show. He's... But by the way, I do have to say this. I was genuinely like completely shocked. Had no. Clue. And I usually have a clue. <laughs> I usually have an inkling, a suspicion. People you know, don't know what we're talking about. Oh. That I was being honored at the brunch. I had no clue, like zero clue that I was being honored. So when I'm reading the cue card announcing <laughs> my award, I'm three sentences in. I was like, wait a minute. And then my picture's behind me and I just dissolve into tears, cry my eyelashes off my face. So thank you very much. But how did you not know? Did you not know? Was I, it, were we really that stealth? successful at keeping it private? Yeah, no one told me. No one, no, no one even dropped a hint. No one even said, okay, someone was like, I want you're being honored. So just keep it on the, no one, everyone kept the secret. Really? Yeah. Shout out to my team for learning how to keep secrets. Yeah. Like I didn't even see like a, a random piece of paper, nothing. Yeah. I didn't, I just, I didn't, I well, didn't know. I mean, it was long overdue. And I think that, you. um, you know, what I said to people that, first of all, I'm new to doing award shows. I don't host award shows. Mm -hmm. So my first award show that I hosted was my own. So you I will say well. there wasn't a lot of scripting. There wasn't no teleprompter. So everything mm -hmm. came from the heart because I said, I really believe in each of these awards that we've created. The Resilient Award, when we thought about it, it was just like each award, like culture award, mm -hmm. who's better in the culture than the Breakfast Club? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Pioneer Award. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Floyd is, he's an icon in what he does and he's been a pioneer in boxing mm -hmm. for years. So, I mean, for us, you really define that. And I think that it was a reminder that, you know, we have to give each other our flowers when we're alive because yeah. 
that's when it matters. Yeah. So who better? But that's you know, I knew it was coming up. The whole team knew it was coming up. And when I handed you the card and you started reading it, I don't know. We, I know everybody on the team was like, "Ooh, this shit's about to get good." <laughs> but when you cried, I mean, we felt it. So yeah, I was, I was very touched. I was very touched. And then I looked out in the crowd and I was like, <laughs> oh "My God, like shy." Okay, but, and it was well yeah, deserved. Thank you. Okay, so um, for those of you that are listening to this, the Hollywood Unlocked Social Impact Branch is now going to be an annual thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've already received calls on how to televise it and how to, I mean, there's all these things. And the the thing that I will say that was the most important thing, not one of the most, not one of the most important things was yesterday during the BET Awards, Tyler Perry got up there and did, gave a speech, mm -hmm. and he said that when people were. Um, talking about uh, boycotting the Oscars because Oscars were so white. Mm -hmm. He was trying to build a studio to give more black people jobs. And he said, um, when you don't find a seat at the table, basically go on and build your own table. Mm -hmm. I had already said that. Mm -hmm. People are attacking me online because I claimed that I had said it. I didn't say I said it first. I just said I said it before. I heard Tyler say it. But mm -hmm. the point of it all was, I'm so glad to hear Tyler saying it mm -hmm. and me saying it and more black people starting to say that you have to stop waiting for people to hand you shit and build the shit that you want. Mm -hmm. And so this came out of, and I told MTV this today, we were kind of laughing. I was on, I was on MTV with Wild and Out. I was on Love and Hip Hop on VH1. I did Games People Play on BET. That's all Viacom and was denied at the MTV Awards. I didn't understand how can I be denied on, on the MTV Awards when I'm on MTV? Mm-hmm. So I said, you know what, motherfucker, I'm going to go ahead and build my own award show. And guess what I did? <laughs> I went down the list and I hand proved, hand, I, I, not hand approved. What the fuck is that called? When you hand select or when mm -hmm. you approve. Yeah. We had a thousand RSVPs and I was able to go down the list and say, yes, no, yes, no. And there was no, it was all, I was all humble in doing it. There was no, I don't like this motherfucker. Because there was a couple of people I approved that I didn't like. Mm. You know, this bitch ass nigga from North Hollywood that keeps sliding in my nigga's DMs. I, <laughs> Let his bitch ass come because I want him to come and see, nigga. You could never. But anyway, back to being positive. <laughs> I was able to go down the list and say, these are the people that I want to be there because you get to a place in life. I'm 41. You're 40. Mm -hmm. We you don't need to get into Something, it. Something, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you get to a place in life where being happy is all that fucking matters. Mm hmm being around all the people that are lit don't matter. Mm -hmm. Being around all the people that are flossing on Instagram about balling when they really have five roommates and a Rolls Royce that's rented. Let all that shit something. doesn't fucking matter. My The most tired fucking hashtag, my life is a movie. It's really not. You're the only <laughs> one who wants to fucking watch it. Just saying. Damn. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams has now become one of my friends. Mm -hmm. I love, I fuck with Wendy Williams. You always have though. No, but like, she's the only person that's kind of like, like, I think what I thought was taking a shot at me and mm -hmm. I celebrate it every single time. Mm -hmm. I flew to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina for mm -hmm. the first time. By the way, they have the best ribs. Mm -hmm. I could only eat one meal there. Mm -hmm. I had lunch with um, Fred from Media Takeout. Mm -hmm. And Fred uh, gave me a lot of props for Hollywood Unlocked. But what, what, what we were talking about was, and he says hi, by the way. I love Fred. So Fred and I were talking, and I went to go see Wendy a day early. She was on the panel before me, and I went there. And when she saw me in the uh, audience, the audience. Mm -hmm. she shouted me out. Mm -hmm. And the lady on the panel, I don't know her name, but she was a, she was a fucking cock blocker. Really? She kept trying to stop Wendy from acknowledging me. Why? And Wendy was like, stop. And Wendy went on and said... I don't, you don't have to give money to help. You don't have to give time. But sometimes you just get, I gave him my platform. Yeah. He's getting ready to go into 52, 55 markets and I'm in 52 countries. So right. why not give him my platform? Right. I thought it was a great moment. I think it really showed the softer side of Wendy Williams. So I want to say shout out to her. And she said when she comes to LA, me, her, and another person I'll name later are going to go to the gay club. You got to come with us. So. Oh, I'm so coming. Okay. I am so coming to that. That is going to be epic. All you niggas in prison listening to her saying she's so coming. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and um, we got a guest in the building, Bernice Burgos. Hey, beautiful. Hi. <laughs> okay, so you just said this is the second interview. You don't do interviews. Why are you so private, Bernice? You have five point, you, first well, you have of five all, point fucking three million followers. How does that even feel? Uh, it feels amazing. <laughs> it feels really good to, to have like followers and people that really, really fuck with me like that. Do so. you interact with them though? Yeah, I do. I do. But like, I, don't, I don't be boring. So if you have 5.3 million followers and you you don't have 5.3, but you both no, have amazing 
bodies and all these fucking men out here. There's, I, I always say niggas ain't shit. I don't know what you think, but <laughs> you have. Oh, I feel like because I feel like men wake up every day and just want to. Either masturbate to somebody's Instagram or fucking walk around uh, and have yeah, somebody. Oh my gosh! And she would definitely be what the top two. Oh my god! Yeah, I had one person that sent you a video of it. No, oh, okay. he actually <laughs> told me that he do masturbates for my pictures. I'm like, <gasps> just one guy. I mean, I guess she that, hears. I don't she, talk yeah. to like you know, yeah. just like one guy that I was just talking to as a friend, and we were just talking, and he was like, "Wait, you know, a friend just talk, like that's uncomfortable." No, though. like not like just like you know, a friend that likes me. Yeah, yeah, okay, you gotcha. know. And I was like, "Uh, okay." Your DMs must be a scary place. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever? I rarely go in. Mine. No, because Melissa. At first, <laughs> Melissa was getting a lot of dicks in her Instagram. And yeah. I had access to her Instagram yeah. account too. I used to go through like, "Oh, that nigga there." <laughs> That's a nice dick there. Okay, so do you, do you ever um, do you read all your do you DMs? Like, do you go through them? Sometimes, if I'm bored. Has Tristan Thompson ever been in your DMs? Oh my god, no. <laughs> no? That nigga's no. in everybody. This is track Tristan no. over here in Hollywood. I'm like, we trying to figure out. Who's- let me let me tell you something about me. That's is certain people. Especially, I love the Kardashians. I love Chloe. <laughs> you know, shout I out just, to Chloe. I love yes. her too. And. Um, I respect people's situation. Mm-hmm. Like, I won't even dare, like, even look at that person. Don't even dare look at me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even mm-hmm. though I don't know her or even though I don't know certain girls, but I respect what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And that's their man. Mm-hmm. Right. No matter what, they're not married or whatever. That's yours. Mm-hmm. I don't need that. Even you know? after they've broken up, though? I mean, no. I feel like once you've, it once, I mean, a drive by can happen if you're not together. No. No? No. Somebody, First of all, I, that's a Kardashian. Yeah. I'm Bernice Burgo, so. What that? No. That, it's like, the, okay, like, everywhere. Like, no. So Chris Humphreys no, no. tries to kick it to you, and you're like, absolutely not. Absolutely Chris not. Chris Humphreys, I spotted him on a Southwest flight in row 42. Okay. No. I mean, not that, does that matter? I don't know. Absolutely not. Really? It might have been a last minute flight. I was in first class on Southwest. You so. were not in first class on Ooh, Southwest. I was Southwest? In, <laughs> I was in the front seat. You want to do Southwest? That, no. Exactly. Why? Mm-hmm. It's a quick sh- trip to Vegas. Really? Do you, oh, that's 30. That's like 40 okay, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So not even 40, but you're 20. Not, but, you're, yeah. but you're not going to do LAX to Fort Lauderdale. No. I've done that one time. No, I can't. I felt like I was being smuggled in the country. What the fuck is this shit? Everybody on the How's flight. How's the seats? Are they comfortable? Well, you're always between, I mean, I'm overweight, so I'm always between another fat person, and I'm looking at them oh like, my now, God. nigga, you should have definitely had some type of allergic reaction or something. No, because I mean, I sat next to this fat girl on the way here from, where was I at recently? I was in this, she was- well, You were she, in North Carolina. Oh. Yeah. Home of the ribs. She was sitting right in the middle seat with her baby, and I text my team, I go, I'm sitting next to a fucking kid. Oh my God. And on, on top of that, she was sitting in my seat too. Uh, the lady was. So I texted my team. I said, fuck, this is going to be a bitch. And anyway, this is how God shows up. Mm. That nigga moved her out of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> she was in the wrong chair. You know what I feel, too? Every time there's a kid in the plane, I'm like, ooh, this is going to be bad. I say to myself, why they can't just have their own plane? Yeah, right. Why kids and moms, like, this is, this is for families but right wait, here. You're a mom and a yeah, grandma. But first so of all, you expect that. My daughter's is big. Uh-huh. You know, my granddaughter, she's with, her, she's with my daughter. Right. So it's like, she's not even been on a plane yet. I think, you know, they have the luggage below. No, don't, no, 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 Jason, no. stop Listen, it. Listen, I'm saying that with don't, advanced no. aircraft. You cannot put children in the cargo. You put pets down there. Okay. They, no. No, I'm not no, saying. No, I'm just saying just having their own luxury, you know, like yeah, somebody to design yeah, like, a plane for like the kids gotta, to have. Maybe like just an adults only plane. You got to push yeah. a button and then the door slides. They can have their little kids yeah. section and stuff like that. Push a button, you know? door slides open, all these fucking kids hanging all over the place well, in the plane. Well, why not just, just put, put them, in, them there. in the overhead compartment while you're no. at it? No. No. Oh, okay. No. I'm just no not. ventilation. <laughs> I do, I'm sorry. I do think that adult only planes would be a novel concept. Listen, you, know? you don't see no kids screaming because on Emirates. Here's the thing. Do you see kids screaming on Emirates? I have not been Them on Emirates. Them motherfuckers like, yet. you don't put a, a hijab around their fucking mouth. <laughs> I, stop it. Okay, stop am it. I going to get in trouble for that? You might be. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't talk about that because I still want another baby. So Do you <laughs> really? It. Yeah. I want one more. I always say I wanted three kids. What? This is what I, we need to end this right here. Right now, right motherfucking here. Okay, because I like Bernice Bergenos. Ber- Ber- Bergenos. What the fuck, bitch? I, somebody asked me to go to Greek. I didn't put Mykonos and Burgos in the same sentence. So, this nigga asked me, do I want to go to Greece? Yes. 
Let's go. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Why do people age shame you? I don't understand this. I post a video of you. First of all, yesterday, the other day when you were at the brunch, somebody walked up to me. I can't remember who it was because there's so many people, but they said, I've never seen her in person. Her fucking body is amazing. Oh my God, she's so beautiful. This nigga kept going on. I said, first of all, one, you realize I'm gay. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even need to talk about nobody's, <laughs> no woman's ass. Mm -hmm. Am I just talk about? Yes, I see it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. why do people age shame you? And does that bother you? No. At all? No. Um, I think it's because I look freaking good and, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And I feel like being in your 30s, it's not, you're not old yet or in the 40s. Like, I'm 41. Okay, get me, get me one like I'm in the 60s and then you could talk about, oh, damn, she look good. No, but can you though? Because I was at brunch. 70. No, because I was at brunch yesterday and Nicole Murphy walked in that bitch. Oh, wow. And that body on Nicole is like. But she, 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 she's, like, know, she's not old yet. But I don't consider old until like old is a state of mind. Like right, yeah. Like old 60s. is a, old is a state of mind, and she and you do get age shamed. You get mommy shamed. Is it grandma shamed? Like you know, it's it's it, after you have you give birth. People are like. They have this idea: go sit down and be right. and go be matronly. What is but that? that's and for I, that's for everybody that have kids. Yeah. Twenty one, nineteen. Oh, go mm -hmm. and take care of your child. Why are you showing your body? Why are you doing? Meanwhile, this? your kid might be the one taking the picture. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, it, wh why mind that person's life and business? Like, why, what's with the negative commentary? It's I I don't really get it. I just keep on going. I don't really let that shit bother me because that it don't it don't do nothing for me. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm keep on you know I'm keep on growing and doing other stuff and I'm like I don't even read my comments like that. Like really? I used to I used to like read. I'm like oh god, but now it's just like I read like the comments that the people that follow me like it, put kissy faces, and I'm done. So you don't block people or nah, I don't you, do don't that no more. Nobody, you don't mute nobody? None of that. I don't do that no you more. Li literally, you I let them say that. whatever they want and you keep living. I just keep on living. So so you had a baby at 15. Why do people act like you're the only person that's had a baby at 15? Because I'm popping. I know that's right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, for, seriously. Like, I just, I never really understood that. Like, I feel, I forgot who I was talking to early the other other day about social media. I really feel like the only people who go to other people's pages they don't know to hate are mm -hmm. miserable ass people. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've never yes. one time in my life, even if there's somebody that I don't really care about, even gone to look at their page. Like I don't want to fucking look at somebody I don't like. Mm -hmm. So what is what do you what do you say to people who feel like they have an open invitation to just come and tell you whatever they think? Uh how the way I look at those people, I look at people like I don't really pay them no mind. I really worried about the people that be around me. That's my main concern. Because your own closest friends it could be the ones that's hating on you. That's the truth. You know, and those Ain't be the that ones the that hurt me the most. Mm -hmm. That that right there hurts me the most. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I try to be careful who I bring around my circle. Mm -hmm. You know? Doesn't Tristan Thompson's eyes look like a oh raccoon? Oh, my gosh. What <laughs> We're gonna get off that I subject. Don't know. We're not, just, and we're not gonna I mean, she's a beautiful know. ass, hot ass, know. lit ass woman. Did out you here? hear that Trim Tristan Thompson has her on his hit list? Did you hear that or something? No, but okay. I'm sure he's rubbed one off to one of her photos because he looks like the guy that does that. I don't that. know because I don't follow him. Thank you. <laughs> I don't and follow if anybody him. else does, you should unfollow him. I okay, follow well, him. listen. The fact is, is that you are a beautiful woman, and. Do you want to give anybody secrets as to how you keep yourself in such good shape, your skin so, you know, golden and melanated? And how you end up on a beach every week? I'm like, your Instagram, you at a beach every week. Where the you beach know is what? At? I'm living. I'm just living right now, and I feel great, and I'm happy. You know, and I think when you know yourself and you feel yourself and you see where you're at in life... You're going to keep on growing and keep on your, your skin. You're going to be glowing all the time, no mm -hmm. matter what, with a man. Because sometimes a man, it's always good to be with a man and have somebody. But sometimes it's, it's like, to me, that's a distraction mm -hmm. for my life sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like, it's like, it's like, it's juggling. Mm -hmm. You know, should I be with them or should I, I now nah, I got to fly out to them, go over here, go over there. So sometimes I just try to focus on myself and do the things that I need to do for me. Do you find that when you get into you know, a relationship, guys try to suppress you and, and like make you stop. Like, yo, you could just chill right now. You don't got to do um, everything. Do they like yeah. to try, yeah, try and stop your hustle? Yeah. I don't know what that they is. Always I, want I me love like, you. You're perfect. Either, now change. I want you to have my baby and just let's just get married and just keep it like that. I'm like, okay, like, so no, no, this is, this is for me. God put me here to do something. I got a, I got a purpose. I'm, I got to finish what I'm doing and then 
okay, I'm going to have another baby and do get married. And that's all. And do do time. Mm-hmm. So do, pe- do you think people know you outside of Instagram? Like personally, do people know you? Because you don't do reality TV, right? No. Have you? Would you do reality TV? You, it all did, depends who, what it is. Lala apparently had a project that she was um, executively producing. Um, I heard about it maybe about a year and change ago, and mm-hmm. you were one of going to be one of the stars of it. And then I heard nothing about it. Well, is they it, didn't come with the fucking money. It, no, no. Apparently. I mean, I, I, like, I don't, I don't know. Um, like, is it in pre-production? Is it? No, it's not happening. No okay. More. They didn't have the fucking it, money. It's not happening, and I feel like. It's one thing. I feel blessed to have all these followers and people to look at me and see me as a role model. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a actress or, you know, anything like that. But I'm still somebody that people, all these young girls look up to me, mm-hmm. you know. So that's one thing. I have a clothing line, Bold and Beautiful, mm-hmm. sell pajamas, and it's doing amazing. Mm-hmm. So I feel great, you know. When you have other endorsement deals, too, do you feel like, Yeah. I feel like with women, especially when you all are popping on on social media and then, you know, you before social media days mm-hmm. popping in, in, you know, uh, videos, magazines, and just in the industry in general, mm-hmm. I feel like men, well, I won't just say men. Well, first of all, I don't know who's the bigger hater, men or women. I mean, cause men literally just objectify just, you it, and it, then it, women it, don't acknowledge it. All the, the, it, it all depends. Brand. It all depends because if you, if you don't fuck with them, they're going to hate on you. The men. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. No matter what, mm-hmm. they gonna just put you down. Sometimes they do lie, act like they did fuck with you. This, this, she you has know? a whole list of guys who say they slept with her yeah, that she me didn't. Me too. Mm-hmm. Me too. And I'm like, no, I never even met this guy. Mm-hmm. But it's people would be like, oh, this guy was talking to, talking about you in the in the locker room. Mm-hmm. The locker room. But but who who is to blame? For, is it is it the the men who do that, or is it the women who buy into it? Because so many women buy into that bullshit. Like, we, you know, we jokingly talk on the show here where Game said she had a Honda Accord and she never did. But mm-hmm. why does shit stick on a woman? If a woman says it didn't happen, why do they still believe it happened? Because you can't prove a negative. Right. Like, you just can't. Like, what am I supposed to do? Line up every motherfucker that I'm rumored to have slept with. Right. Did I fuck you? No. Okay, go to the back line. Did I fuck you? Okay. And where am I putting this? On YouTube? You know right. what I'm saying? You can't prove a negative. So once somebody kind of put something on you, the stink is really hard to get off, you know, and people just, you know, people really want to believe that when the reality is that the, the opposite is true. When you look a certain way, you really don't have to lift a finger. Mm -hmm. Like that's just the truth. You get the attention no matter what, whether you like it or not. So why not capitalize on it? But why would I need to have sex with all these men? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what is the point? You know what I'm saying? Just to get my fuck on? This is where I wish I could have a vagina for like six months. Oh, God, you wear it out. It would be dragging in the gravel. That thing would be in the other room right (laughs) now. No, no, no. (laughs) Fucking Ben Simmons, I'd be fucking you right now. And then you gotta be careful who you're sleeping around with because... Especially when you hot and you're a celebrity, like people look at you like, oh my God, like, oh my God, I want Britney Sparkles. Oh my God, oh my God. And I'm like, yeah, the worst thing is like okay. ending up in bed with a fan. You're like, oh shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. terrible. It's happened yeah. once or twice. <laughs> okay, so you're from the Bronx. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what do you think about Cardi's success? I mean, she started on Instagram and look at her. You know what? I was watching her yesterday at the awards and I was like, wow. You know, because she was bart- I was bartending and she was stripping. At the same spot? At the same spot. So you remember her then? Of course. Really? You know, so just watching her grow is amazing. Yeah. It's just like, and she was always quiet. She People don't know oh, that about her. She's, she was always quiet. So now that I see this different, I'm like, whoa. You no, know, she's still the same person. You know, but probably yeah. she was quiet because she was at work, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And um, the friends that she had around was so cool and everything like that. It's like when we was when we used to work at Starlet's, it was just like everybody was like a family. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like different. Right now it was different, mm-hmm. but at back then, it was cool. No, she's still very much an introvert. It's crazy. I just uh, I Facetimed her before I got here because she switched up her choreography from mm-hmm. last night. Because I went to New York to the rehearsals and I I fucking learned the choreography in case she needed help. Right. You know, I would have <laughs> right. got up there. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep the SAG after thing going. But mm. no, I mean, she she did kill it. And it's always interesting to watch how, I mean, when she first started rising, and maybe even in you, your case working in the club, how people always want to remind a woman where they started. Mm-hmm. Like you never hear people say to a man, I remember when you was that broke nigga sleeping on a, a bitch's couch. Nope. Like, but they always, I just always find it fascinating how 
you know, and very few women still have, I think, the strength to like overcome all that shit. Like, yeah. nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm shitting on you in every way anyway. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like me that me being in the t- industry because I'm dark skinned. You know, so it's not. Do you a think really, you dark skin? I was about to say, do you? Are you oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, because the follow. I just felt them right now. That felt the yeah. tremor. They're gonna say Jason only brought Bernice on because he's a colorist and she's light skinned That's what they're gonna say. Really? Yeah, because no, they I'm, they think I, I don't have. You know, any... I, I feel like I'm a brown girl. Yeah. You know, back in the days, like light skinned girls. You know, you light skinned Yeah, I, I think I'm. I think <laughs> yeah. I, this is a tan. You light skin. Can I, I think just say light y'all was... are both the same to me? I, I'm sitting I'm over dark. here. No, this is no, this is natural and this is. California um, this sun. Is, no, this is L'Oreal. <laughs> okay. A little bit of, you know, bronzer and, and whatnot. But normally I'm like, you know, Lysine in winter time, I'm light. Pop, light skin girls was popping back in the day. I always, and like, I, I always thought that the prettiest society, ones had her complexion and darker. Mm. I would always just be staring at them like, <laughs> why you want to look at my light ass? <laughs> You know, I like, used to like. I used to be jealous. I used to hate my complexion, and I used to be like, "Why I'm so dark? Why I'm so dark and so skinny?" And light skinned girls was always popping in school with light eyes and brown hair, you know. And I was just like, "Ugh." So it's just like now, it's just like fuck. Like I'm dope. Like this color is amazing, you know. Yeah, like uh, you know, Amara La Negra, right? From Love and Hip Hop. Okay, we'll move on. She's oh, the one with the puffy. Yes. yes. Okay. You yes. seen her skin? Yes. She's yes, the most. Yes, she's been yes. here. She's the most beautiful. Yes. yes. Dark. I mean, it's yes. just she's beautiful. Striking yes. as hell. Yeah. And she's really raised, I think, a lot of awareness around colorism. Because honestly, mm. I had breakfast with my whole team today, and I'm like, okay, I have a real question. They're like, what's up? I'm like, am I a colorist? Mm. They're like, well, half the team said no, and the other half said yes. Those motherfuckers, they getting their pay cut. <laughs> Not <just> like, <laughs> But in my mind. I love being black. Like, I'm proud to be black. I'm mm-hmm. proud. Like, you know, if I decide I like a Dominican and I prefer a Dominican who's light skinned with green eyes and tattoos, I still take a dark nigga too. Like, I just like a mm-hmm. nigga who's fly. I don't understand. Me like, too. I like, <laughs> that's me. Yeah. I just like a nigga that's fly. I don't fly. care if you dark, light skinned, white. I like it all. You're, and make sure your thing is big too. You're not, you. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Don't even start because that that's a size queen over there. There's a lot I of am. little ones out there. I R- am. Wait, so when a, when a guy queen. pulls oh out a little god. dick, do you tell him right there? Oh then? my god! And she starts laughing. Wait, <laughs> Bernice, do you say do you say no? Nah, we're not doing this. Like I'm not disrespecting my I... pussy with that. <laughs> oh look at the you time. <laughs> no, wait. Look, I, I s- just you know now I'm not. I'm dating, so now I'm just like you know we make out and you, you know, check the merchandise I'm beforehand. Ta- Oh no, this is not good for me. I'm, I don't even want to look at it. I don't even want to look at it. What I if, could just but, tap, especially when you got sweatpants and I can't see nothing from. But wait, sweats? what if he's a grower? Some and not people a shower? are growers. What if he's a grower and not a shower? I've seen those before, where I'm just like, oh shit, and I'm like, oh shit. I've seen the pinky. Well, if you too tall, and if you tall, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just no. So let, so let me, so let me ask no, this. So let me ask I this. Just can't. So, so let me ask this. A guy takes you on a romantic trip to Greece. You are out there in the Mykonos. Wait, is there a Mykonos? First of all, yes. by the time he takes me to Greece, you already she's know what he's got. What he's yeah. working with. Okay. Like I'm not going out there. And can okay. you imagine? Okay, wait. No, you're in the airport. You're in line. You ask him, pull your dick out one more time. I need to see it. And then it's small. Do you just pack you know up what? and go home? You know what? <laughs> I asked him. Or take the trip. I said, take the trip. I just, you know, I told my girlfriend one day, I was talking to this guy, and I said, you know what? I'm going to ask him. I'm just going to ask him. Be on the phone. We be on the phone every single day. And I just want to talk about sex now. Let me just ask him. She was like, go ahead, girl, ask him. So I was like, um, do, do, I don't know how I said it. I said, do you have a, you know, do you have a big dick? And he was like, I have a lot to handle. (laughs) <laughs> he has a big check. But wait. Because a different another person would have was he lying though? No. Okay. He wasn't good. lying. All right. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you you got them motherfuckers that are Jesus. like, yo, let me put this thing he on you, girl. And I'm he like, wasn't lying. you know, I, I felt like he was telling the truth because other men wouldn't be like, Well, you want me to send you a picture? You want to see it? Matter of fact, you when you see it, you tell me if it's big. <laughs> so when true. they tell you that line, that means it's little. If they say, I got a lot to handle, and mass smooth, I know he's telling the truth. Well, I this is the line that I like. I don't get any complaints. Well, th- guess what? Right, here's what. Oh, that was a, that's a good one. Yeah. I don't get any complaints, motherfucker. Neither does Taco Bell, but go to Yelp. They there. <laughs> Shit. He ain't a bitch in the window don't know, but Yelp knows, bitch. That's hilarious. Okay, so... Um, 
You did. Wait, wait, hold on. Did you date Trey Songs? You did. Trace. Now, I don't know. Somebody. I'm not oh, throwing a body Jesus. on you. I'm just somebody. Somebody mentioned. It. I said, "Well, oh, Trace Song no. is my friend." No. Oh, I just saw his dick last week. <gasps> that thing is crazy. Really? Yeah. No. Trey's gonna be mad, but Trey ain't been on the show, so fuck it. Trey, I got that. And then when I get that no, video, nigga. Trey is, Trey is cute. It would be hard He's for really people cute. to assume that you hadn't slept with him because you're so beautiful and he's so attractive and he, they, they want to put he's two fine. pretty people he's, together. He's really fine. They okay, really do. So who is it right now? That, who right now? Sway Lee? Would you, would you date Sway Lee? You know who I heard you dating right now? <laughs> oh, she's with somebody. What that. is that boy's name? What, what is his name? Uh, Quavo. No. Oh. Wait, stop. Don't even say another word. Sweetie from the Bay. No, that's what I said when somebody told me no. that. I was like, isn't Sweetie from with him? We not doing that. No, okay. see? Uh, look. I, next, no. no, but hold on. When they, when they said it, I was just like, it's not possible. No way. It's not possible. No. I thought no Sweetie was way. with me. No, I was on I the red carpet so. and they was like, oh, are you dating McMills? I'm like. That's the next one I heard. <laughs> So I so I said, let me get this clear, okay? <laughs> you stood wait, next wait, to wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this can clear. Can I ask you a question? So yeah. you're on the red carpet, and they're at, why would they ask that on the red carpet? We only don't one, ask those only questions. Only one person. Okay. We yeah, don't. yeah, I didn't ask okay, me. Okay, we don't do that. So I said, let me get this clear. Just because I'm a beautiful person, inside and outside, you see a celebrity person, he's a celebrity. We hanging out in the club or wherever we at. And you're photographed together. What does that mean? I mean no, we've never been photographed. We just be in the club. Like, oh my girl, it's like, yo, let's go. Like, we all cool. Why we can't be cool in a club hanging out? I know him for so many years. <laughs> right. I say, y'all will know if I'm dating somebody because I will be in the club making out with my nigga. Right. Okay? I will be holding hands with my man. That's when I will say, I've seen you out. I've never seen you hot Because people do be out hiding with people. Mm. I've never seen that. You be out just with your girls. Yeah, but definitely, if I'm dating somebody, y'all will know. Quavo, what the yeah, fuck did that? Not, that size was like, I don't. Whoever think, no. told you that is crazy as hell. I don't yeah, know where they got that from. Yesterday, she looked pretty. Too. Oh, she's mm-hmm. beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she did. I liked her outfit. I liked your outfit on the carpet too. You looked really Thank pretty. You. It was she always simple. looks good. Yeah. It was simple and cute. I hate cute. people that always look good. Like you need to, y'all need to get an ugly picture of you. I just need one. For what? An ugly picture? Yeah, because I don't think like everything you put out. I'm like, I, and I just be like. It always be them big old husky bitches that got. And a you know what I do too? I I take I take a picture and I do a video at the same time. Where so can like, be like, yeah, don't try to say the wall is bent, bitch. Exactly. Like, <laughs> it really, it really, it really be the bitches that could put a, a sled thing in but their mouth and the pull truth, a sled. I do, and I'm gonna keep it real. Sometimes I do edit my pictures. Mm-hmm. I do most but of the who time because. The camera gives you five pounds. The pitch, the camera, when you take a picture, mm. you bigger. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So sometimes I got to make people see and then, you know, put my waist the way it looks and show them a video. This is me. Smooth out my skin, you know. Y'all but I love that you admitted pick. that. Because I think this is somebody I had said to somebody uh, recently is, oh, follow me on Instagram. I said, man, I unfollowed everybody. Not for personal reasons. I, I, I fell into a depression following people on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person takes a picture with this Tiffany box and acting like they work with Tiffany and they ain't even in the building. They done rented the box. I mean, <laughs> the shit's so fake. So why do why do more people not admit to editing, editing or face tuning or whatever? Because everybody out here doing it. Um, I love doing it. To tell you the truth, I I, I want to <laughs> learn how to edit pictures like on some real shit. Oh, I got somebody. For like you. I really want to sit there and I just love pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know why people lie. It's it's not it's not a thing. It's there for for a reason, mm-hmm. you know, to swim watch your skin where we could look nice, you mm-hmm. know. So I don't know why people lie. So back to the Bronx, that little kid Junior that got killed. You you, you saw that? Yeah, and that was really hard. I, Actually, we was it was last year for BT weekend, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been one year. They just yeah. found the people guilty. Well, I always wonder: uh, is the Bronx rough like that? Is that just is depends that, on what no, part? No, I couldn't. No, I mean, listen, I think there's killing everywhere. Yeah, but um. Wow, I, I I I don't know. That was bad. That was that um, was like where in the Bronx? Really where in the bad. Bronx was that? Like park around Parkchester? No, 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 no. That was like um, that was near the hospital. Like in um, no, he mm. ran to the hospital. Yeah, but it was, it was near yeah. the hospitals. I forgot the name of the cross. It was Third Avenue, but the it was around there. It was mm. like I would say I've seen a lot of shit. We post. We post all day, every day. I think that's but to tell you the truth, one of the hardest. It's a lot of bad things going on that we don't see. Mm-hmm. It's not a lot of like right now, like the news. You won't see the real shit right now. We seeing real shit on Instagram. So I don't really watch the news no more because I feel like the news is Instagram to me. So 
I be going to your, you know what I'm saying? You've been posting a lot of like stuff. Like, I like that. It's not only, you know, Hollywood on Hollywood yeah, on yeah. right? They don't only, y'all don't only post just, celebrities you know, celebrities. Y'all posting real stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so now I'm like, wow, I like this now. Now I could see that. Yeah, because you know? I feel like there is so much happening in the world. I think we started sharing it when, when, when police brutality really started happening. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. I'm exposed y'all motherfuckers. Because this, you know, I think people do what they think they can get away with, right? Mm-hmm. And I think with Instagram now, it's just changed the game. Like, you're not waiting for the newspaper or waiting for a magazine. It's right here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Definitely hard to All right, hide. so who do you hate in the industry? There has to be some bitch you She's see when they walk she, in the room like me? this bitch. No, I don't How, keep it real. I don't in? care. You don't like, you don't care? I don't care. I don't have no, I don't, nobody don't, to tell you the truth. Not even Drea? Like, Drea be like, no, I don't cool? know Dre like that. I, I like Dre. I just do that. You know, I don't know her like that. I'm a type of person, listen, coming in this industry, um, I'm a very humble, very humble person. Um, I really don't give a shit about what other people is doing, you know, and I do salute people, you know, but I keep my I keep myself in the lane and I keep on focus on me. But when I see other people that's doing their thing, like, you know, when I saw your brunch and stuff, I was like, wow, I see myself up there one day, mm-hmm. having myself, you know, having my ceremony with my bold and beautiful line and, you know, fashion show, just stuff like that just uplift me, mm-hmm. you know? So I don't really worry about other people because if you do worry about other people, that's what's gonna bring you down. Mm-hmm. I appreciated you know? your uh, encouragement the other day because you know I was stressed the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, get her table, get to her seat. I, I was so stressed. I, yeah. I mean, my team had to come to me and say, can you please just stop and enjoy what's happening right yeah. now? Because mm-hmm. this is amazing. But thank you for coming. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. What that is, was amazing. What are some of your goals? I mean, you've gone from, I feel like I'm kind of interviewing myself. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, know, you went from doing music videos and launched Instagram and now you have 5.3 million followers. You've got your online boutiques, et cetera. Yeah. What's next? Because I mean, you have... Quite a large platform, so which, which means you've Bernice? got which means you've got a big voice. Yeah. How do you plan on using it? I mean, I'm just trying to get in anything. In is there everything. any kind of is there any like philanthropic causes that are like really close to your heart that you really want to you know kind of attach yourself to? Like I don't know, saving the whales, cleaning up garbage. I don't I don't know. Like F- fuck everybody in Hawaii looking at whales. I was on a boat where everybody kept okay, looking for Jason, a whale. I'm like, I, fuck I, out of here with that shit. Uh, <laughs> it was boring. You, you have your own the causes that you like to attach yourself to. Dominicans, so, uh, oh niggas. God, don't listen to him. I got right a nigga now. getting you know out of jail what? in four wanna... days. Wait, shout out to my nigga getting out of prison in four days. <laughs> oh Let's God. start there. Anyway, go upstairs. Who's that? That nigga fine. Mm-mm. Who? Not to show, we'll show you him. Out. Don't let him. Re- they ain't never you down gonna find road. him. I'll we'll, I'll tell you off the. No, ain't uh-huh. no celebrity. Yeah. I don't date celebrities no more. They they just too messy. They are. Anyways, philanthropic causes. <laughs> is there anything that's like you know particularly close to your heart? Foster kids, foster animals. Um, to me, it's cancer. Just doing okay. a lot of stuff for cancer, and mm-hmm. you know, because I do, I did lost a lot of friends in cancer. Mm-hmm. You know, especially young. Mm-hmm. Like it's like. Cancer can happen anytime, any day. Mm-hmm. And um, I lost a really good girlfriend to cancer. It was one of the most survivable cancers. It was like 92% survival rate. Yeah. Um, and my co host from Blood, Sweat, and Heels, Daisy, uh, she passed away at the age of 36. Oh she had so God. much life in front of her. She was literally like a beacon of light. That was a really That's hard, hard. It was a really hard yeah. death to, to, yeah. to process. Still processing it because it's just 36. It's too young. So. I um yeah, I feel so you that's on that. like one of my biggest like, you know, I want to give and I want to do so much for that, you know. Mm-hmm. When you look at Drake's body now, do you feel like you wish you would have got him when he was fit like that? Because now he's right? just like he looks so good now. <laughs> I said, why you wasn't like that six years ago? <laughs> <laughs> do you still maintain good relationships with yeah. people you've been involved with? Yeah, I do. Do I'm you un- not, do you I'm understand when people get mad and want to? I don't understand when people get mad and want to attack a person they've been with. Just like go away. No, like I, you know, like I don't like, especially with Drake. I'm just like so cool, and we will always be friends, and we will always be cool. You know, hey, I got a party over here. All right, I'm coming, or I won't come. You mm-hmm. know, just like that. Would you, you ever date cool. him again? No. Are no. you wait? Can I establish something? Are you in a relationship now? No. You said I'm in a situation. You said some shit like that. I, I did tell it. you that. Didn't she just say I'm in a situation or something I like that? I said that. Something like I'm your saying, team is o- your team is over I'm here looking at me right crazy. Now. Like I'm single. Are you? Okay. <laughs> but it's not a thing. I won't date him. It's just somebody's like, heart it, is just, broken right it's now. It's just <laughs> being, you know, he's doing his thing. I'm doing. It. It's just being that celebrity stuff. It's just like so what? You know. So mm, she's having fun. Yeah, I'm having. Yeah. 
I'm having fun with myself, with my with my business, and just making money. I just feel blessed. Like every day, I wake up and I say to myself, "Thank you, God, for giving me this house." <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, from coming from the Bronx and living from the Bronx and being on public assistance and having my daughter young and struggling and still like, you know, I didn't finish school. Did you ever finish? You never like, went back and finished. No, I never. Never. never finished. Wait, you dropped that at what? Fifteen. No, Wait, no, you had your 17, daughter at 15. 17, because I was still going to I was still going to school pregnant. Wait, so when you dropped out, you never went back GED? Because I dropped I, just, I, I didn't I, drop out. I just did the GED. That I did was my GED. Well, that's finished school. No. Um, I but I finished like, with a GED. I know, but I didn't go, you know, go to graduation. Fuck all that. You went to the that. money. I know. Man, I know. you better be happy I for know. that. It's motherfuckers who graduated and shit and ain't getting no money. I know. Please. See, But I, I wish I did though. Mm-hmm. I wish I had a prom and you know, went to college and went to the dorm. Like, it it, it's, it sounds so fun. Mm-hmm. You know, when I hear that stuff, I'm like, go to college. Go to dorms and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Do mm-hmm. that fun stuff, you know? A and fraternity, I just, like, join the sorority and get haze and all that? <laughs> Fuck that. It definitely was not going to be your cup of I, I been The only reason I would have became a Kappa, because I know most of the niggas gay. I would have been in there fucking... <laughs> I don't oh know fuck. When I said niggas say when, when motherfuckers say they're Kappa, I'm like, come on, nigga. Follow me. I'll be your brother. Sorry, Kappa. Spank me with that motherfucking ride and we'll be all right. Oh God. So, okay, so how how do you like being called a grandmother? Does that bother you? No. Okay. Mm-mm. I at feel first like... I at first I was very, very hurt. Um Why? Because I knew she wasn't ready. Your daughter. Yeah. I knew she wasn't ready, and I knew she had so much to do. Like mm-hmm. I said, Ashley. Like, she wasn't ready to have a baby. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm like, girl, like, I'm popping right now. I could help you. Like, what's up? <laughs> yeah. You know, but. Do you she have a friendship it. relationship with your daughter? It seems yeah. like it. Mm-hmm. it. We do. It's like. Because when your mom is like, popping like this, like, if my mom was looking like you in the club, I'd be like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. You know, it's it's just hard because you know I'm young, she's young, yeah. and it's like we like sisters. Yeah, like we go through our arguments. Like, you know, she blocks me, I block her. I'm like, oh, you want to you, you want to act like I'm gonna act like you. I'm gonna put myself in your age, and I'm gonna act like you. You, you know, cr- and when I do that, she'd be like. Um, why did you block me? Well, I'm going to tell you oh, right now. what you mean? Why did I block you? You might start seeing me in your comments because now that I'm thinking you're younger than me and people are age shaming you, I'm about to be attacking the motherfuckers because I'm, I'm about to be 42 and I'm, I'm good. You like, look I good. Don't, I don't get it. Well, I'm, But I'm, you got to understand, this is my problem and this is what, you know, people need to get it together. You know, they're going to hate because we're doing our thing. We got our own shit. We got money, whatever we could do. Especially, it's hard for a lot of women, especially women. Yeah, they don't doing really their own shame thing. No, they, no, they, they don't. don't. You know, don't. it's hard because a lot of women we need help from men. Mm-hmm. But when they see a woman doing their thing and got their own money, mm-hmm. oh, it's not like oh, like okay, uh, I'm gonna call her grandma then. Uh, I'm gonna say they're gonna make make they're gonna make anything up because mm-hmm. they don't got no they don't know what to say mm-hmm. about me. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like. Listen, it's just like get off my back and just chill. So you're in the fashion. So you said, what's the name of your line again? Bold and beautiful. And so, what inspired that? Is it is it full? Is it cut and sew? It's, or is it? Yeah, really. I designed it myself. That's like the hardest thing, just making your own stuff. You know, it it will be easy to go to you know get clothes from China or whatever, boom boom boom, and put it in a freaking website. Mm-hmm. That's the easiest thing. But when you designing it mm-hmm. and you really like, okay, I gotta brainstorm and put this together. But you build basically what you like for yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I put out everything what I like. Mm-hmm. I'm not just gonna put out something because I want to make money. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it because I said, you know what, I got a platform. People like the way I dress. So let me do something. And I love onesies. I love pajamas. So I said, nobody ain't doing no pajamas. I love let onesies me do that. Too. Oh, I'm do. gonna send you something. <laughs> I walk around you, the house in onesies. You're definitely going to love my onesies. Okay. Um, so I said, <laughs> let me do onesies. Let me see how that goes. And I just wanted, I wanted my brand just to, my pajama line just to be onesies. Mm-hmm. And, that, and not a, a lot of people aren't doing pajama lines. Everyone's doing like bandage dresses or, you know, whatever. But no one's really doing like yeah. onesies and pajamas yeah. and intimate stuff. I got a lo- I got a, lo- a lot of stuff that I want to do too. I don't want to say it, but I have a lot of other ideas that I want to do. Mm-hmm. Have you ever, act- you've acted? No, never. Everybody's acting. They to act. So notorious. I mean, B. I, I act. G- I act in like in my Instagram. Like, no, doing but I mean, like, have you acted? the like- notorious Big movie. So yeah. says, to you tell you that? that was the first time I started modeling. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So it came like right there, and I started modeling in the age of 29, 30. 
I just got into the game late, mm. you know? And um, it was just like a cameo. So question for you. I did music videos at the height of music video, the music video industry when the budgets were like ridiculously inflated. Like, what's the budget uh, for Jadakus? $650,000. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get a good really? paycheck out of this. Sh oh, oh wow. yeah. Like, Big Pimpin' was a million dollars. What? Yeah. So my next question is like, what are the, the most we get is six thousand. The whole, wait, the whole budget? Yeah. Wait. Not for the whole budget for the project for the models. I mean, for me. Yeah. If the I models. Do, like, like if I do a video by somebody's popping like five thousand, but then you, you know they take out taxes and stuff, whatever. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like nothing. Okay. You know. But what would the whole budget be? Would you Would you know anything like that? Like, no. let me see here. No, would you... no but like, uh, Drake had that one video with direct hit director X. He did the fuck that video with the damn snow. Nigga rolling in the snow with a goddamn fur coat in that car. <laughs> that nigga paid money for that. Where does yeah. snow come from? I don't even think snow was in season. Yeah, Drake's Drake's budgets are are probably you know kind yeah. of up there. No, Drake, no. I did the last video I did was um Khaled's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which one? That was um. Do you mind? There you go. You know you getting money when you can't remember what the fuck's on your resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that video was good. And what about, let me tell you something about me. I don't just do everybody's video. I'm mm -hmm. very, very picky with videos. Like, I could count how many videos I did. I probably did like five. Where you did, what did you, you do know? that? I was choosy as a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, I won't even, I won't say whose videos I refuse to do, but I would listen to like the lyrical content. And if it was super misogynistic and shit that I just, that just didn't fly, I was like, I can't represent this fucking project. That's the way I looked at it. That's the way I looked at it. I looked yeah. at it like it was a business. Wait, was, was, side note, this just came to me. Was Superhead on jay Z set for Big Pimpin? Because I thought- No. Let well, me tell well, you- I know they say you look like her, but I'm, I don't see it. What the fuck? No, they say that on like, you know that. You don't look like her. You know, because she says she sucked his dick with a condom so on it. Thank like, you, my love. Amazing. Thank you. you know, here, let me let me just say this you about. You want to marry yet? I no, 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 no. We'll get into that in a second. <laughs> but let me say this about Superhead. She is a beautiful girl. Mm. She is a really intelligent girl. She's a psychopath. Um, I will. You know what I called her? I called her the Snuffleupagus. Do you remember Snuffleupagus from uh, Sesame Street? How yes. I, what, nobody a, ever saw him except Big wait, Bird. Snuffleupagus oh was a big, frumpy, brown, no, 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 frayed, no, 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 the, the, ugly, no, no, fat. No, the reason I called her that was because nobody believed Big Bird because Big Bird was the only one that saw him. I was like, this girl's an urban myth. She doesn't really exist because no one ever saw her on a video. Well, I thought you were saying that she was Snuffleupagus because she liked Big Bird. No, because I thought okay. she was an um, she was a, 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 an urban myth, like imagine. Oh. So I was, her talking about she's the most prolific video girl. I was like, girl, when, where, backstage, in the trailer, maybe. So, but vi so not videos, on set. so videos nowadays pretty much is like a marketing tool too. Because if you're in a hot video, more deals come with that. You're gonna post right, more so, brands. And, and it all wait, it puts you it, out there. And it all depends what type of video it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are the lead girl, mm. and and if you pop and if they like you, especially in this industry, they got to like you. Yeah, yeah. If you not like, they ain't fucking with you. Yeah, that's one of my challenges. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at Cardi B. People like Cardi B because who she is. They liked her. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't have that. Yeah. You well, know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is what somebody said. Somebody said, it's easy to make a star an artist than an artist a star. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Because if people right. like you. Yeah. I, I, I'm asking people, I, I ask random people these days, like, what can I do to make more people like me? And I, nobody knows. So I'm like, fuck it then. I'm just right. going to keep talking shit. People, people, I get it. Like, I don't ever want to be somebody in the industry that, that me, mm -hmm. I have to be like to sell me because I don't know how to do that. Because like, if I don't fuck with you, you could be, Jesus could be, no, not Jesus, because I need to get in heaven, but it could be anybody else sitting there. If I just don't like you, I just don't think like Think about you. where we started. You have not changed at all. And think about all the negative, 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 negative that people used to say. And now I read your comments. Oh my God, I love Jason. Heart, 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 heart. Mm -hmm. I right. love when Jason goes off. Yes, spell the ting. Yang, 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 yang. It's just like... But the greatest part about it is... The bandwagon. The greatest part about it is never forgetting. And I said to somebody yesterday, I said, you know, you, you know, at the brunch, we had all artists who aren't at the top of the charts perform. Mm -hmm. Because... I remember when uh, Cardi wasn't at the top of the charts. Mm -hmm. I remember when Drake didn't have no fucking money when he was running out here chasing Bria. Hilarious. It, you're not always going to be that top art. Like, stop. I just don't like how people in the industry treat 
people who were at the top because mm-hmm. the people at the top weren't always there. Right. Jerry Lorenzo from Fair God. I remember when that nigga was a promoter at the club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, repping Grey Goose. Uh, mm-hmm. Gre- yeah, Grey Goose or Belvedere. I don't know what the fuck. He was getting his money then, but, you know, like, whatever. Pe- people, just, people just be funny, you know, with just because you ain't popping. Like me, like, listen... I'm myself, I'm me, and I'm going to say whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to carry myself the way I want to carry myself. I'm going to wear a nice bathing suit, post it, because I feel like doing it. This is mm-hmm. me. This is what I want to do. You know? And if you want to criticize and you want to, okay, that's on you. You could do that. Mm. You know? Because you, you ain't pissing me off. Mm. You ain't saying nothing. You ain't saying nothing. I don't think I've ever seen you go off on, like, have you ever gone off on social media? I mean, media? every time I do, they always post me on the shade room or mm. something like that. So I try not to, you know... Make I don't I try just, not to respond. Yeah, cause I don't, why 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 should I interact with a person I don't know? Yeah. Why I don't know you? Mm. Yeah, I really but sometimes don't. telling somebody to go suck a dick is a good thing. I know. I, sometimes I would say that, but it's just like when you ignore them, and it's just like oh, it, it just God. makes them even angrier. Silence is the key of yeah. everything, and bl- I'm learning that now. Silence is deadly. I blocked this barracuda yesterday, and she went and created another page to tell me what she thought. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just going to block you. At this you know, point. sometimes I be nice to my fans. So, you know, I started like reposting mm-hmm. stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes, you know, and I answered one one person. I don't know if that's a guy or was a girl. So this, so now they could DM me, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. I requested them, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And now this person, keep on, who was that man you was with? My gay friend. Who was that man? Do you know your titties was, ha- you know, you was showing your chest? I'm like, hold on. You know you can up. mute them and I don't send, do, I, you send know them what? back to general. I didn't even want to do that. I just left that person right there. Just talk to yourself. So I can see both of your nipples are pierced. Is Are those the only body piercings you have? Yeah. Really? Or um, my belly button. That shit didn't hurt? Oh, Fuck yeah, they did. Yes. You, I, ha- you I had, had them? My, my left nipple was pierced. I what could- did you pierce your nipple for? Because I was thinking about getting a tattoo and I couldn't commit. So, <laughs> so fuck it, just stick the needle through I my know. nipple? I, I did this because a guy, you know, he was like, you will look so sexy if you put some nipples And they look so wait, good. Wait, and then how, and then, and then and how soon like, after did you dump them? A year later. <laughs> yeah. And you kept them. Kept yeah. the nipple ring. And I just kept them. I was like, these are amazing. Yeah. But I lost my sensation. Really? Really? Yeah. That's my, the bad part. My nipple rejected it. After like two years, it started pushing it out, pushing it out. And then I woke yeah, up one day and it was just laying in my bed and my nipple fused back together. Because your oh. nipple was like, bitch, what the fuck is we doing? Yeah, but it was <laughs> so sexy. I loved, I loved it, them. but it I hurt. Them. It felt like a hot poker being shoved into my nipple. Oh, oh. it was fire. I could taste the pain. Yeah, well, that's better than gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean. Same. I'm going to take your word for it. I'm yeah, going to have to take your word shit. for it. And it's embarrassing when you got to tell another <laughs> motherfucker you got it too. Trust me. Oh my God. So what is, what is the biggest misunderstanding or misconception of Bernice Burgos? Like what do people think about you that's not true? Like that's not you or who you are? Mis- misperception is the word. Um, misconception. Yeah. Yeah, misconception. Mis- um, Probably that know. she's dating everybody. No, nah, I don't really hear that like that. Like, I don't really pay that. I don't really look for that, but I don't really hear that. Me dating and stuff like oh, that. No, but like, like, what do you think people think about you that's not accurate? Like, is there anything that, or do you just not, are you just above, um, are, you, are you, or is, it's, I'm, it's above me? Is that the new quote? It's yeah. above me. I'm sorry, it's above me. I don't know, right? I don't, they don't really say much. Like, they just be, like, in all my pictures, and, oh, my God, I love you, I love you, love you, or, you know, like, every, like, I don't know. I just get a lot of love. That's, I do. I get so much love. I just went to Paris a couple of months ago, like, two months ago, and it was amazing. Was that, I your, felt like, was that your first time? No, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. No, it was my first time. Paris Because I went is... to London. You don't understand? Like, I thought I was, a cel- like, a rapper. Like, I was just like, <laughs> God, like, you need to give me some, like, a voice or something. Like, everybody was going crazy. I was like, okay, let's just put a song on right now. Let me just, you know, <laughs> shake my ass and dance. You know, and I went to Africa. It's just going to these places and experience people. Mm-hmm. That's amazing mm-hmm. to me. And for them to love me. So, and they would sit there and say, I know everything about you. I know your mother. I know your grandmother. I That's know your kind of daughter, scary, though, Paris. Too, right? I know your daughter, Sarai. I'm like, yeah, I know you did. I'm like, oh, wow, you watch me every second. But isn't that kind of scary, too? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's scary. Because the motherfucker tried to sneak a picture of me yesterday, and I checked him right at the pool. I was like, no, you know, we're not doing that. I just don't. I don't. I, I and don't. I have so many stalkers. Oh my god, it's so scary. It's scary. Like I had to move from one place to another place because. Once they I they started, show up at your house? No, they started because I, you know, I had a Bentley and a G wagon, so I had it right in front of my house. So people, it, you know, it wasn't gated. So people started driving up and saying like, "Oh, that's Bernice Burgos. She lives here. She lives right there. I love you, Bernice Burgos." And my daughter was like, "Mom, we gotta move." Which is why I just said I'm moving the fuck out that house. Okay, your. She just validated exactly what I said. Yours is a little my, my house, tucked away. It's tucked away, but if you ever get a picture of it and you happen to ride down that street. Yeah, and mm. you could just walk, I'm yeah. moving about that motherfucker. Yeah, I was laying in the bed too. I told you two weeks ago, the, the power, not the power, the internet went out. So mm-hmm. when your internet goes out, your phones For don't an work. Hour. Yeah, it was about an hour and a half, but still, like I had to go downstairs. I went downstairs in my Wendy Wendy Williams robe and got a knife <laughs> <laughs> because I pictured there was gonna be somebody outside cutting oh the wires. God. Like I'm in my mind, I'm, I'm trying to call people. Then I'm like, let me walk to the bottom of the hill and get service. But if I walk down the bottom of the hill with a knife, I'm going to get shot because I'm a black man Probably. in that neighborhood with a knife. Yeah. So I sat in my bed perplexed, waiting to die. And then my, <laughs> oh my came God. back on. So I'm moving. Thank he you. Is moral yeah, of the try, story. Try to go somewhere where you feel safe. So that's what I did. Once once my daughters told me, like, Mom, I'm scared when you're not here. They are calling your name. I said, okay, we got to go. We oh, yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's insane. That was just scary. So now it's just like I got my garage. I could put my cars in. And it's like the best thing. Okay, well, listen. If you run into Drake, can you please tell him that Tristan Thompson kicked me out of his party? That little bitch ass nigga. I, I, yeah, but you know that's his friend, though. Really? Yeah. Why? Because they both from Toronto. I can't wait to the day Tristan. So you don't. Stops so you working. don't. Okay, so let's say. Okay, let's say you have a party, right? Yes. So she goes in. She, this is this is your close friend. Yes. This is your friend. They're from, both from the same town. Yes. I come in. I had a situation with her. Yeah. You know. Are you gonna kick me out the party? Probably and not. And she tells you like, yo, well, I don't fuck with that girl. But she doesn't. Girl, he has had motherfuckers up in this chair that I've had to interview that I don't fuck Wait with. Wait a minute. Not no, them, like one person. <laughs> but there was a day where I where I booked M- Melissa and the person she didn't like on the same day. But if she, if she tells you yes. personally like, yo, I don't, I don't fuck with you. Well, I ain't going to lie. I get a kick out of it. But maybe I shouldn't do that. No, you shouldn't, motherfucker. No, you shouldn't. Okay, I wanted to punch you in your face. Yeah, like people, you know, people got to be loyal to people, you know? No, he's entertained by this shit. Oh, you, well, like, oh, you like the heat, huh? Yeah, he, no. he, he wants all the smoke. You like the no, heat. No, because Melissa tries to be bougie, and then until she no, gets no, no. really mad, it's, then she wants to fucking murder everybody. I'm like, what the happened? I am just, no, I, listen, dignity is the mark of a true thoroughbred, okay? Mm-hmm. I am always composed, poised, and dignified. You about to throw that girl over the rail. I was going to throw that bitch over the motherfucking railing because she stepped in front of my face and tried to slap the fucking <laughs> champagne glass out of my hand. Oh, I was no. like, that's one. That's <laughs> well, one. Oh, no. On that note, Bernice, it was great <laughs> having you on the show. <laughs> and yeah, um... Please no, never, no, no more juicy. You know, that's no, never know. follow. If you <laughs> ever, if you ever follow else? Tristan Thompson, we, we can't be friends. I'm sorry. Oh my god, y'all will never see that happen. I think, yeah, I think he has high blood pressure. His eyes are dark. <sighs> All right. Anyway, wait, 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 wait. No, before we're out here, what the fuck do we need to tell people? What are you doing? What you're doing? They could go to your. You have 5.3 million followers. It, uh, you can just tell them yourself. Listen, I love y'all. <laughs> just keep on supporting me. <laughs> Okay, so since you're single, um, would Ben Simmons ever have a chance? Because I just want somebody to hook up with him because no, he's so goddamn fine. No, why him? He's fine. I'll you tell think you, so? I'll tell you after the show. He's so young, too. So yeah, what? He's too young. How old is he? 21? Like 23? No, 23, 24. That's is young. that bad? That's really just young. That's bad? And to tell you the truth, all my DMs is all that age. I'm yeah. like... I know, I get stop. a lot of youngins. But they're cute, though. Well, I don't know. Oh, I, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm telling you, if, I'm I, had, right if now. I was Bernie's Burgos with 5.3 million followers, <laughs> I would be right burning this city down. <laughs> Y'all be talking about me. You wouldn't even be able to talk about me for too long oh about one person because I'd be right over there. They'd be like, wasn't she just at the Atlanta Hawks? Yep, she right up at the Raptors now. Mm. I'd be everywhere. I'd be all over this bitch. I know. You know what? I, I, God knew what he was I doing. Need, not you know what? I need to... I need to learn how to be single because I don't know how to be single. Because it's like when I date somebody and I'm like dating this one person, just, are you just, and I just stick right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, he yeah. will be dating, but my ass will stick right there. <laughs> mm. I'm like, shit. I gotta learn how to date. I don't know how to date. I don't know how to do that. 
But it's kind of hard when you're in this industry and when you look right. like that. Right. It's hard. No. And I don't no, like, fuck it that. Is. It is. I mean, I guess so, but... And it's like being caught. Like, people are like, oh my God, that's Bernie Spraggles. Oh, she's with that guy. You know, it's just like, oh God, like we got to be private. Can we just stay in the house? I don't want to go But they don't do that to men, right? No. no. Y'all can... You can mm-hmm. have a fucking roster. Yeah, that looks like fine. the man. That look like the man. But let a woman have, you know, be like, oh, I like him for this, and I like him for that, and I like him for the food. And I, it's just like, you fucking whore. It's like, all right. Well, and that's this why is, I'm uh, so. This is advice. I'll give you advice. Okay, since <laughs> yeah, I'm older, give, than, I'm older than you. Let me give you one. advice. This is why I told Melissa. The next time one of these niggas say you fucked him and you didn't, tell somebody that you did and they have a little dick. That's what you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, that I think dick. that that's oh. brilliant. I think oh. that that's brilliant. Just like that dick didn't work. We we tried. <laughs> we tried. The dick didn't work. It, was, it didn't work. Oh my god, I had the littlest dick one time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you <laughs> want to say the name? No. Rasby. No. <laughs> it was terrible. I almost cried. Wait, but why, did you have? Did you go through with it though? No, okay. I stopped Good. because it was just. Um, like, I are was you like, even in? Like, if you have to ask, I it- cry. I like I never talked about this. I really <laughs> never did. But it's been so many years. Was he being? Was he just? It was a tickle. It wasn't even th- a tickle. maybe like a thumb. Anything. Damn. And it's just like, but was he th- like okay. Penis? This, wait, is, wait, this wait. is what I say. People with small penis, guys, please just stick with one girl. <laughs> just have one girlfriend. Don't go around sleeping with so many women that your penis is not a good size. Okay, let me say this. I'm going to tell my own business only because we're sharing. That's what this show's about, being transparent. Okay, so I had gotten a relationship years ago, and I said to my ex, don't, just three things. Don't lie to, don't, don't lie to me, don't cheat on me, and don't steal from me. Mm-hmm. That nigga did it all in the first like oh my month. God. He did it all in a weekend, right? <laughs> okay, Stole nigga. Stole too? I left him money to pay for some computers, and he only bought one because he spent the rest on his ex. It, I didn't find that out till later, but did that, fucked up, had sex with somebody from the park. This girl he met, put, uplo- <laughs> uploaded, uploaded him stripping in my house on my computer, so that's how I found out, so I caught him. But anyway. Uh, so, so he was bi. Yeah, well, see, they all are. Mm. That's another epidemic. That's scary. <laughs> no, I know. That is freaking scary so, i just can't so so long story short after he did that i was like fuck it i'm gonna just fuck everything i can so i went to cheat on that person with somebody else we're in miami it's it a great weekend <laughs> and this motherfucker he from virginia i ain't gonna say his name because god rest his soul but his dick was literally this big <laughs> now i didn't even know they make penises that big it's called a micro penis why because it's microscopic. No, I mean, why does it exist? Cut it off and get a pussy. It's tuck a, it in. I, I was going to say, it's just a big, can, can it's a you, labia. Can, okay, let me ask you a question. <laughs> it's an enlarged can you, labia. Can you really, can you deal with a guy that has a small no. penis? She, no, keep it real. No, no, no. What about, what about mm, if he's treating you nice? He's a, buying you, no, like he's buying your no, love. No, like, I, I am a size queen. I have never made apologies for it. No, yes. fuck that shit. Yeah. I, and I don't need yeah. 14 inches. I don't want a bladder infection. Somebody was slid in my DMs. He was just like, he was like, you want this bladder infection, madam? <laughs> no, wait. He was like, you want this bladder infection, madam thighs? I was like, first of all, I love the nickname. Secondly, no, I don't want a bladder infection. What the fuck? Who wants a bladder infection? So if, I don't need 14 inches. If he has I don't 14, even need 12. If he has 14 inches, he's coming to destroy your life. Yeah, exactly. I don't want any parts of that. That's like giving birth. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm really I happy I deci- with like I decided nine I don't want nobody and a half. with a big ass penis. Like, especially if you're not my man. You could just go. Bye. <laughs> no, just he, go. He's going to fuck up your head. Just you're, go. Yeah. Just, 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 just stay over there. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Okay, so listen, Bernice, if any nigga, if any nigga watching this show slides in your DMs and send you a small dick. Give it to me. I'm put on Hollywood Unlocked. It, 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 create a small dick segment. Fuck it. And especially they will be sending me stuff. When, remember when Snapchat, Snapchat started? Yeah. And, oh my God. I was like, yo, if y'all sent me a little dick again. It's, yeah. Especially men that have small dicks, they want to put it as an angle. You know that shit is little. Stop playing with me. Angle and shave but it you down know, but, you, but I will say like, there's nothing, they have the most confidence. I'm like, okay. Do women do that? Do women send Vaginas to men? Not to me. Like, guys are so. <laughs> I ain't got one vagina. <laughs> Keep that shit over there. Don't you sit there? I got allergies. Don't oh you send that God. shit to me? No, but I, there is this new thing where women DM me talking about, you know, like, would you fuck me? No. No. What part of I'm gay? You never had a girl? Yeah, but she. You could. ever tried it? Yeah, I had. Okay, I was in good. love with a woman until oh, I was wow. 18. Yeah, then I fucked with my first nigga. I was like, bitch, you gotta go. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, it was over. And you broke her heart. I don't think she had a heart. She was a she was she was just uh, she was savage. A, she, no, she wasn't a savage. She was uh, she was pathetic. Damn. Yeah, but anyway, God bless her. I think Fuck. she works for uh, 
Red Lobster sometimes. I don't know which word. Okay. God bless her. God bless her. Okay. Well, listen, Bernice Bergano. <laughs> Ber- Bergano. What is Bergos? Where? Jesus. Get Mykonos out of your no, head. No, no, because this fine ass nigga want to go to Mykonos. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me, he's from Amsterdam. He hit me today. Like, can we go to Greece? I'm oh, like, Oh, he's probably fine. Mo, I, I, ooh, Amsterdam. Mm, yeah. He's. Everything. Amsterdam? Yeah. How many hours is that? I'm about to change the name of my phone to Bernie's Mykonos. Fucking no. Nice Bernie's. <laughs> Burgos. And you know, they used, to, they used to make fun of my name, Bernie's Hamburger. And I used to be like, oh, wow. I know they see me now like, damn, Bernie's Burgos is popping. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Remember when you used to call me? Go fuck uh-huh, yourself. Exactly. Yeah, yeah with that little there. dick. All right, cool. We out of here. Peace. Bye, Peace. everybody. <laughs>